Okay, so we're going to start kind of all over again, just in case somebody is jumping in and not following our videos in the order in which I've, I'm making them. So we're going to go back to DOSBox. We're going to restart PQ method. Remember, it gives us the prompt, and I already made it, so it does change directory and makes puts me in PQ method. I have to be there and then type in PQ method. It's not case sensitive, it's DOS. And I just hit enter and we start our program. So last time, right, we wrote down what our name of our path was, Q, W, 2012. And I'll remind you that if for some reason you forgot that, right, you can always go back into your PQ method folder and you can find all of the names of the files you've ever used. I do a lot of studies. Um, and if we look down, right, we have our QW 2012. And most of these have nothing in them, right, with the possible exception of our STA file, which we've played around with a little bit. It says 62 bytes. We really haven't done much to that, but we'll, we'll get back to that. And I'll show you a shortcut for putting in the statement. So we notice the first thing that is listed in our PQ method program is states. And so we're going to go there and it says that I have one statement entered so far. That's only because I've opened it once. And it says launching external editor, hit enter to continue. So we can do that. And we are in a very simple DOS editor. Simple because Originally, when there was DOS, there were no things like shortcut keys. So there was no control copy. So there was no copy and then control V for pasting. There was no copy and paste. There was no mouse. There were none of those things. And so if we were going to use this way of entering our statements, we would, right, we would have to enter each one of these as a, at a time. So, right, I think research is really awesome. If that was one of our statements, right, that would be automatically statement number three. And we always have to have a, a hard carriage return after the last one. But we're not going to do it this way. If we did, we'd have to hit like F2 for save. That's the function keys, right? And we can do Alt X to leave. But I'm going to show you a much simpler way to do this, right? So I mentioned that this file that we're going to put our statements in is called the STA file. And if we put our mouse over that, we see that it says STA. And we say that we want to open this with WordPad, right? And I've opened these before with WordPad. Right, all you need is a very simple editor, something that is not Excel and not Word. So this is just a very simple editor that comes with all Windows programs. And there's what I entered previously, right? But these aren't really my statements. My statements are actually in an Excel file. And so here are my statements, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? I've already typed these up and I put them in an Excel file because it makes it easier for me to make the statements and print them out and copy and I'll show you how to do that too. And so I can come over here, right, and I can just do control V and automatically copies or paste them, right? I can do undo and I can paste special. So we'll make sure that they're just unformatted text WordPad's gotten a little faster, fancier it seems, right? And then we're going to get the rest of our statements. So we need to go and hit a carriage return and we'll go back to Excel and we'll grab our other 22 statements, right? Control copy or we could just, right, wherever copy is on here, I don't even know. I never use that. I always Right, do control C and control V. I'm going to paste again, paste special, because I just want unformatted text. And I can click OK, make sure I hit a hard carriage return. And now I'm just going to save it. I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to say save at, just save. If I go back to my 